Assuming we can trust the ominous stranger, having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage.
this after Yes! Yeah. 
Let's finish this.
Bowser is helpless in the dark mist I mentioned without a spark powered weapon. We do have a weapon we can spare. It was designed for rabid Mario, but proved too heavy for him to wield effectively. No, 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 no.
I've got it!
minutes ago.
and me. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Want more? Gotcha! Oh! <laughs> 
Transmission sounded fishy. Daphne. Now, now. Running away? <laughs> Come on. I'll show you mercy. <laughs> so. Take cover. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Blade to go! Oh, <laughs> 
Weirdo. <laughs> Finally. now Cursa having descended from the mega bug encountered in your previous adventures has inherited its memories from which it reconstructed this likeness of Bowser That's right the mega bug assumed control of Bowser treating him like a mindless puppet It was all for nothing we beat him soundly in front of Bowser Jr no less Remember Bowser be able to stop Bowser from leading this attack. Uh, we'll need three for backup. <laughs>
Unknown. For Cursa to create a clone such as this, it would need to inherit a DNA blueprint from the Megabug, or have created one itself. Hear this. Ha! Nothing's going to stop Edge from leading the charge. We'll need three to watch our back, and perhaps ours as well. Let's finish this. Oh, ha -ha. <laughs> oh, <hey>. Let's go! <laughs>
The wellspring of all darkness, Cursa. Though we are divided amongst three battlefields, our only chance is to work together. Cursa itself is too far to reach, but its astral arm is not. Focus on that, uh, as well as not getting hit. Cursa's likely plan of attack with the arm will be to target a hero with it shortly before thrusting it downward at them. We'll use this to our advantage. See those trampolines? If a hero leaps onto one, a jagged spike will rise from the floor. Take care that the hero attempting to leap onto a trampoline is nowhere near the arm, otherwise it will throttle them. Let's go! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Let's go! Wee
is nearly incalculable. It must be powered by the sparks cursor captured and exploited. Those sparks can still be saved. Set them free by hitting the star. Without their power, cursor will weaken. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right.
Finally free from Cursa's grasp! Once more we have rattled Cursa. I sense her hatred towards us, the most savage and intense yet. I believe I am scared, Beepo. Not just for myself, for all of us. We are scared too, Jimmy. It's as normal and as natural as emotions come. Try to focus on the task at hand. Yes, yes, of course. Those projections, there. Take note of them. I believe she created them to harness the collective energy of our weapons to amplify the power of her wand. If we charge the wand enough times, it may help us disable Cursa's defenses, allowing us to strike directly at Cursa. Let's go! <laughs>
We didn't oh. save this box, Rosalina. We tried. We tried so hard.
Hey! I do! I mean... They're weird! Go! Well... Hmm? <laughs> All right. So, Genie, how do you feel about your first adventure as an honorary hero? My feelings as such are not relevant. The mission was successful. That is all that matters. Genie, I thought you had adapted, learned to engage with emotional experiences. Relax, Beepo. That was merely a jest. Something set to cause general amusement and laughter. Is that so? Well... Perhaps my mentoring hasn't been in vain after all. I'm proud of you, Genie.